On Youth Day, a 20-year-old male resident from Jeffreys Bay decided to take a stand against gender-based violence by holding a poster at a busy intersection in Jeffreys Bay. This morning when I woke up, the first words I got was go and stand at any corner, any stop street, and these specific words was put on my heart. Stop raping a woman. And I asked God, why must, why me, why should I do it? And I was battling with myself for about a whole half an hour, hour. And I was questioning myself, is this me? But then again, I was thinking, why me? I'm shy, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be all alone. And God, God just, like, it was such a heavy feeling on me until I got to the point where I just told my mom, this is what I want to do and I'm going to do it. And here I am. I've been standing here since about 10 o'clock this morning. I've been holding this poster. I never let it go. My arms is burning. There was a lot of good response and there was a lot of bad response as well. I'm not racist, but there was an elderly white guy that stopped in a truck and he rolled his window down and next to him was, was a black guy. His words were, you must have a location and you must design a location you must not be here. And I questioned myself. I didn't say it to him, he left. I questioned myself. This is not directed to black men, white men, colored men. This is for everyone. Because there's no color involved in this. Because anyone can do it. There was a few people that drove by, showed middle finger. I wasn't bothered by it. Because I'm not doing it for them. I'm doing it for those who do not have a voice. There was a lady that came right in front of me. She sat down and she started crying. She didn't say anything. She just started crying. And there's been people driving by, greeting, hooting. Opportunity om te praten over nie, want ons laat hulle afskom, voel as so iets met hulle gebeur, jy mag het nie sê nie, jy mag nie daar praat nie, want um, it's frowned upon, en kinders moet weet dat ongeacht wat gebeur, hulle kan praten over, en dit is ok, jy moet hulp vragen, ons, ons moet daar wees om vir die toekomst daar te wees, verstaan jy, hulle is, hulle is die toekomst van ons wereld, so. I mean, we notice these things, we see it every single day of our lives, but yet we choose not to say anything about it. Why? Are we ashamed of what people's gonna say about us? Am I ashamed, oh, my friends is gonna say this? They're gonna make fun of me, I'm gonna end up not having friends? That, that, that's what's been going through my mind. And today I was just like, look at this is it. I'm drawing the line, I'm stepping out. There's so many factors around women being abused and, and hurt. You know, it's not that they choose that. It's easy for people to say, get out of it. You know, but circumstances, certain circumstances, doesn't allow certain women to just get out. <laughs> like I say, you know, I just said to one of my sons, there's so many things I would love to tell you that I can't, but I cannot tell you. My heart is bleeding, but like I say, situations has it that, you know, mothers think of their kids, they think of society, some people think of society, what would society say if they knew proof, testimony that these things do exist, it does exist. You know, it's just amazing just to see that young man standing there saying, wow. This is will not be the end of it. He's there. I always say to myself, every night after he's done with me, I'm like, God, I know you do. I know you do. Sometimes my human nature is, I want to say, God, where are you? Why are you allowing this to happen to me? You know? But he's there. I know he's there. Just because I, I, just because I see this young man today, it makes me realize that he's there. He's there. He's always been there. He's never left, you know. He's always been there. That proves to me. This is my... 
Proof. God is alive. He is there. This is life. This is happening every single day. Wake up and speak up. That's really what Youth Day is all about. It's about standing up for what you believe in, what is right, and what is going to make a difference. I'm Sonia Catherine White, reporting from Jeffreys Bay.